Should a man show any vulnerability with a woman? If so, how should it be done? Well, the reality is a lot of guys see what you see on TV. Women repeat these platitudes that they've heard. Oh, you got to talk about your feelings and your emotions. And what guys start to do is they start to treat their girlfriend like their mommy or their therapist. And it's like maybe they're struggling or maybe they lost their job or got passed over for a promotion or they're just not making very much money and all they do is complain about it. Mm -hmm. But yet they don't go looking for a job that pays more. They don't ask for a raise. They don't work to solve whatever the issue happens to be at work. They just keep coming back complaining about it and whining about it and sharing their feelings. And all it communicates is, number one, their actions show that they're not handling things as a man. So that's not going to make you feel safe. And number two, you're saying and doing things that make you look unattractive and incompetent and inept. And women want a guy to be more masculine than they are. You you know, just like you've said many times, you want a guy to dominate you. Mm -hmm. And if a guy can't even dominate his own life, can't dominate his mission, his purpose, dominate his fears, his insecurities, his doubts, and continue to push forward no matter what, it's, you're not going to feel safe. Right. And so when a guy just starts, it's much better for the man if he shares his fears, his doubts, his insecurities with his best friends, his, you know, guys that'll keep their mouths shut. Yeah. Uh, or your, you know, your therapist or somebody. It's like, cause men make the mistake of coming home and dumping all their problems onto their woman. Like I've had clients over the years, been, been with their wives decades their kids are growing up, their kids are amazing, and yet they go through maybe something happens with their business or they go through a health challenge and they'd always been the alpha in their relationship. Mm-hmm. And then they think, hey, you know, I was always there for my wife through the ups and downs and the pregnancy problems and problems with our kids when they were teenagers and problems with her family when they were sick. And I go through one thing and I figure, hey, now I can lean on her and six months, you get six months to a year. Mm-hmm. Before you know, of di- like displaying incompetent behavior, flailing around and not really doing anything to help yourself to where you know you guys typically start looking for the exits because if he can't lead himself and take charge of his own life, you're not gonna feel safe and comfortable enough to submit and follow his lead because he's just basically saying, I can't handle it, yeah. And so, it just if it's not gonna make you look more attractive and more confident and more masculine and and like you know what you're doing and you're handling things, it's it's not going to help her. Mm-hmm. It's not going to help her like you you more. Yeah. But I mean, if something happens, like you lose a family member or somebody dies, it's like yeah, if you, you know, it's it's healthy to have a cry about something like that. But the key is not to let something like that knock you down and keep you there. And that's where guys are running the problem. Is like they get knocked down and they stay down. Yeah. And if you stay down too long, eventually the woman's like, you're not going to get up and help yourself. It's like. Mm-hmm. I, she needs a, you guys need a man that you can follow. Yeah. You don't want to be the man. You don't, you know, that's just not your natural energy. And that's why you guys resent it so much. And you get bitchy is because you don't feel safe. Right. You're scared. It's annoying. If he can't handle it, it's like, that's not your responsibility to handle it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been in relationships where I start feeling like I'm the masculine and I'm like, you're the mommy. Yeah. I'm like, mommy. well, they do say that guys, um, when, when they really like you or when they're in love with you, they kind of become like childlike, like they become kind of, dopey. Yeah. Um, but and then they act like they don't deserve to be there. Mm-hmm. They don't act like an equal anymore. They start pedestalizing you and kissing your ass. Right. Just like dudes online tend to when you, mm-hmm. you know, you post a, a nice picture or a video of yourself in a bikini at a beach or whatever. They just yeah. drool all over you. Mm-hmm. So where he might start out in the beginning pretty confident when things go well and he gets a little infatuated, he gets a little taste of the promised land. It's like some guys can't handle it. They start to fall apart. They start to get dopey. They start to follow. Mm-hmm. And it happens slowly and they don't realize it because they're getting overwhelmed with their emotions. Yeah. And they don't know how to process them. And then so they kind of just start acting like a girl because, quite frankly, they've seen TV shows and movies that were. Yeah. You guy is supposed to act dopey and lovesick and drool all over a girl. And in the movies, she thinks it's cute and adorable. Yeah. But you do that in real life, women are be like, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Get up. Um, but then I didn't realize that I was like in my masculine until after the relationship that I was kind of bitchy all the time. 
Yeah. You'd be- snap at him. I would snap. Didn't respect him. I was irritated. I felt like I was telling him what to do, how to do it, like showing him like You were his mommy. Basically. And then and when, his therapist. Yeah. And his coach. Everything. And once I was single, um, that's when I started getting in tune with my femininity again and being taken on dates and I realized, wow, like I guess that wasn't a healthy situation that I was in because I was not in my true form and like my peace state and now I'm in my peace state. So I'm like, if anyone tries to break that down or or get me to become mommy again, I'm out of there, like running. Yeah, it doesn't feel natural and you resent it. That's why you get pissed off. That's why you get bitchy because yeah. he's acting like a bitch. Right. And it's disgusting and it's repulsive <laughs> and it doesn't make you feel safe. Mm-hmm. And right. obviously nobody's going to respect the guy. Other men won't respect him. Yeah. And then you start questioning the friend group as well. And I started looking at the friend groups and they were all the same. Same mentality, like, oh, why don't you open my door sometimes? Or why don't you get me flowers? I'm just like, absolutely not. We're not doing that. Whatever you tolerate, you invite more of. 